Okay, guys, we are factorizing a quadratic expression of the form ax squared dx plus c with a being the coefficient of x squared and b the coefficient or the number behind uh, x and c the constant term the, or the last term. Okay, so let's say now we are required to factorize, okay, uh, for example, we've, we've been given uh, x squared plus 5x minus 6, okay? So and this is equals to, so we want to find, uh, we'll just open two brackets and that will be our factors. So now to find the factors, we pull out the calculator and press mode and option five. So EQN is for, for equation. And then we choose option three, uh, quadratic, equation so in this form ax squared plus bx plus c okay so i'm going to press three here now the calculator is asking me what is the value of a b and that of c okay so the value of a here right remember i said the a coefficient of x squared is a so it, in this case we've got one here and so a is equal to one, okay? And b is five, okay? the coefficient of x, and c is equal to negative six. Okay, so now I'm just going to punch in these numbers here. Okay, so uh, for a, I'm just going to press one, okay? And b, five, uh, c, uh, negative six, okay? So minus six. Okay, so I press the equal sign again. So I'm getting X equals to one, okay? So what I have to do, the calculator is saying X equals to one. It's not giving me a factor, but uh, the calculator is giving me the solution of X, okay? So, but what to write a factor, what I do, I just uh, change the sign. So, so I write X minus one X, my factor. Okay, remember, if the calculator is uh, saying x is equal to one, it means uh, x minus one is equal to zero if I transpose. And this is our factor, okay? So uh, let me press again to get uh, the other factor. So it says here x is equal to negative six, okay? So if, if x is equal to negative six, it means x plus uh, six is zero. And this here is my factor. So I'm going to be writing it here. So x plus six. Okay, guys. So this is how you factorize a, trino a trinomial using a calculator. So let's factorize two x squared plus five x minus three. Okay. So let me point out my calculator and let me go mode uh, equation a quadratic equation and then I'm just going to punch in the value of a, b, and c. Okay, so the value of a is two, the value of b is five, and the value of c is negative three, okay? So let me press the calculator again and I'm guessing uh, x equals to half. So I have x equals to half okay so what do you do if you get a fraction so you get rid of the fraction by multiplying by the denominator on both sides okay so that will give me 2x equals to 1 right okay so from here i'm going to proceed as before and transpose the one so i'm going to have 2x minus 1 equals to 0 so and this here is my factor okay so i'll be writing 2x squared plus 5x minus 3 is equal to uh, 2x minus 1 in bracket. I'm just going to have to get another factor, okay? So I go to my calculator again, press the equal sign. It says x is equal to negative 3. That means I'm, I'm going to have to write here uh, x plus 3, okay? So we have another one here. It says x squared minus 7x minus 18. So this one is equals to 
let's go and punch in the value of the values of a b and c so uh, let me press mode and equation and three so the value of a is one and the value of b is negative seven and the value of c is negative 18 okay so press the equal sign again it says x is equal to nine so i'm going to have to write here x minus nine okay into so the other factor will be a uh, x plus two because i have x equal to negative two there on the calculator so i will have to write x plus two here okay guys we have another one here so it says 7x squared minus 31x minus 20 okay so this is equals to so i'm just going to have to use the calculator again so press the equal sign let's go and input the values of a b and c so for this one a is seven okay and the value of b is negative 31 okay and the value of c is negative 20 okay uh, i think i have to press the negative sign there so so uh, uh, negative 20 okay all right so x is equals to five so i have to write here x minus five okay into uh, uh, press it so i have here x equals to negative four over seven so now the denominator, I hope guys, uh, you will see that the denominator uh, needs to go behind the X, right? So if you go back to the previous problem, here we had uh, X equal to half and the denominator two ended up here behind uh, X, right? So we'll have to do the same thing here. So we have X equals to negative four. So the denominator, which is seven here, we'll have to go behind the X. So I will have seven X therefore here, okay? And it says X is equal to negative four over seven. So I also change the sign, okay? So the negative changes to a plus sign here, okay? So now these are the factors, the two factors of the uh, trinomial that was given. Okay, guys, I, I think you enjoyed the video. We have reached the end. Thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe.